What? You've never seen a green rectangle before? Before we get started, let me tell you guys about the legend of El Cuadrado Espacio. Some say their amazing designer templates are out of this world. And some say their amazing customer service defies human explanation. And some say they're a sponsor. Regardless of what legends you've heard, you can head over to squarespace.com for your free trial and find out for yourself. And when your legendary site is ready for launch, you can head over to squarespace.com slash tinkernut to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. El Cuadrado Espacio. For your support. All right, some of you longtime viewers may know that computer vision is one of my guilty pleasures. Computer vision is taking a picture or video and using your computer to edit it or analyze what's in it. So what we're gonna be doing is creating a program that takes what our webcam sees as a video stream and then takes a frame from that video stream and analyzes it for facial features. And if it finds a face, it's going to draw a rectangle around it. The programming language I'm going to be using is Python because it's quick and easy and let's be honest nobody really likes long and difficult. And we're going to be using it with the Open Computer Vision API to analyze what we're seeing. You can install Python on Windows, Mac, and Linux using the instructions found on the official Python website. Personally, I'm going to be using my favorite testing platform, a Raspberry Pi running Linux. So if you're following along on a Windows or Mac, stop it. Just stop it. They're not cool anymore. Actually, because it's Python, the code should translate over just fine. The only caveat is that I'll be using the Pi camera instead of a USB webcam. So if you're using a USB webcam, even on the Pi, then you'll need to use this alternate code found on my GitHub page. To install OpenCV, you can just type pip install OpenCV-Python. Pip, while you're at it, can you install a new mini fridge in my man cave? Up, you're useless. All right, opening up your favorite text editor, let's start tickling those alphanumeric keys. First, let's import the OpenCV library, which can be done with this code. And let's import time to allow us to pause the program at different points. Lastly, since I'm using a Pi camera, I'm gonna import the Pi camera and the Pi RGB array libraries. If you're not using a USB camera, then you won't need to do that. But again, just visit my GitHub page for the alternate code. Now, in order to recognize faces, we have to have some sort of reference that tells the program what to look for as far as facial features and says, yes, that is a face. Although it is an ugly one, it is still a face. That reference is called a hard cascade and you can download my hard cascade at the GitHub page. Just put it in the same folder as the Python program that we're writing. So now in the code, let's point to that file and let OpenCV know what it is. Then create a Pi camera variable and adjust its settings and do the same thing for the camera array as well. So as you can see for the camera resolution, I'm setting it really low and this is because the Raspberry Pi has limited processing power. So the lower the resolution, the better it's gonna process it. To give the camera some time to warm up, pause the program for a fraction of a second and then on to the loop. This for loop is what cycles through each image our camera is capturing and stores it as a variable called frame. Then we can set each individual frame as an image variable and begin analyzing it. For computer vision, most images are easier to analyze if they're black and white. So the first step is to convert the image to grayscale. Now we can use our hard cascade to look for faces and set the parameters. Then for each of the faces that is found, you wanna draw a rectangle around it using its pixel coordinates and paste it on the original image. And obviously we want to display it so you can use IM show to open it up in a window. Then clear the buffer and set the Q key as the quit key to exit the loop. If everything goes well, you should be able to save it and run it using this command. And then it should open up a window displaying the image that the camera is capturing and if it detects a face, you should see a green rectangle around it. And then to exit out of it, you can hit Q on your keyboard. Again, you can find this code at the GitHub link below. And this is just scraping the surface of what computer vision can do. And hopefully in later tutorials, I'll be able to show you a lot more of its capability. But in the meantime, why don't you let me know what you would use computer vision to do in the comments below. If you have any ideas, you can submit or vote for your favorites at tinkernut.com slash ideas. You can click here to watch more videos like this. And if you got any value out of my show and would like to give some value back, 
please feel free to donate at patreon.com slash tinkernut. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to youtube.com slash tinkernut.